So we had a look at uh, tubing, which is uh, two bit coding, that's what it's short for. Uh, not very good, uh, graphics are horrible, and the color palette is very uh, Acorn Electron or Auric One or something weird like that, some eight color piece of shit. Um, so let's check out Dizzy Down the Rapids because famously I don't like the Dizzy games because they're flip screen. Apart from Bubble Dizzy, you can't seem to work out how to play. If it plays how I think it plays, if that is the game, it's rubbish. I'll have to check a video on that. But um, yeah, so some people say this is like uh, tubing, so I've played tubing. Now I'm going to play Dizzy Down the Rapids and you'll be glad to know my bread was fine, it wasn't burnt in any way, even had to leave it a few extra minutes. So I've got a tiny ciabatta bread now, for one, well I suppose for two, really depends if you're having more than bread and uh, you know cut salad vegetables and uh, there's no cheese. I have to defrost the cheese. What, you can freeze cheese? Yes, you can freeze cheese. Mm, the timing on that worked out kind of well. Almost as well as uh, Bubble Bobble. So again, it's pointing up too much. I don't know why that is. There we go, that's definitely the top layer. Uh, yeah, the, the F7 start game, right? Now. Okay. So apparently this entire game was done by Paul Black, that's what he said there. Didn't say music by or anything. This already looks much nicer. Does look very 1990s for a C64 though. No sound effects for the water, that's a bit weird. And no music. Oh, so you can shoot shit. This is much nicer than tubing. However, you may need to use uh, trainers. So you can uh, place where you want to go, I presume. Presume that's like some sort of power up. Ah, oh, come on, I didn't even touch him. Don't be like that, man. So the collision detection is a bit funny, isn't it? So you've got to avoid the tornado. You've got to avoid everything, basically. Oh, man. Oh, the tornado doesn't kill you, it just spins you around for a bit, so you lose control. Right, okay. So the graphics are really nice actually, and the coding's uh, up to par. I don't know if this is a budget game, maybe it was £5 or something, certainly less than a uh, 2-bin. Alright, ah, I bet you have to collect something. Alright, ah, so there's me shooting away thinking uh, my shots are unlimited. That is much nicer than 2-bin. Forget about 2-bin. If you want to play a 2-bin game on the C64, you want to check out this game instead. 